then welcome back to my channel i'm so sweaty i know that workout it didn't when i even like wrote it out it didn't seem that hard because i wanted a bit of a low impact but doing it in four rounds like holy shit like that sweat is real sorry let's take these bad boys out i've been wanting to film a video like this for a while because one of like the number one DMs I get is how do I actually start my fitness journey? Also, I woke up this morning with two cold sores and my skin is like going crazy. So that's awesome. But anyway, I just wanted to address that because otherwise people comment on my video and they're like, what's on your lip? And I'm like, Ugh. Anywho, I am going to get up and make some breakfast. If you're just starting your health and fitness journey, like, oh, Congratulations, so exciting. just got soaked these are actually quinoa flakes with blueberries yogurt and almond butter bloody delicious oh my god i'm so sorry i'm currently listening to an audiobook titled girl wash your face the author is rachel hollis i think and it's really good it's really like motivating and exciting but i want to get in and talk to you guys about my first fitness tip for beginners. This I think is the most important and something that you need to do at the start because this will sort of change your whole perspective and that is to sit down, think about and write some goals as to why you're starting this journey. Before you start your fitness journey, you need to know your why. The freshness and like motivation of like starting something new and being exciting, I'm telling you right now will wear off. You need to know your why and you need to have a goal so when it does wear off, you can keep going and you can actually reach that goal. For me, writing down the goal is so much better. I read a study or something and it says that something like you are 70% more likely to reach a goal if you write it down. And that's why every single day I write down my goals, I write down affirmations and I write what I'm grateful for. Every single morning, my alarm goes off and I write it down. Your why, it needs to be more than I want to lose weight. And also your why shouldn't be negative. If you start your fitness journey in a negative negative place honestly it's probably going to end up in a negative place and that's just me being very brutal because I started my fitness journey because I wanted to lose weight and I thought I was fat and then I developed lots of, of like very obsessive and negative sort of habits because my goal was surrounded by that and so I highly suggest make your Try and make your goal not physical. So obviously it can be physical, but it needs to be positive. You want to feel fit and you want to feel strong. Also, it could be a goal like, do you want to join like a sport team? Change your mind shift around why you're starting this journey and make it a very like a positive goal. Because if you start your health and fitness journey from a negative point, place you will also associate exercise and eating well with a negative rather than a positive i've said it many times i know i would change my ways i know so I just finished acupuncture with Anna and I get acupuncture for hormones and stress. I get it done like every two weeks. So I just absolutely love it. But the reason why I wanted to include this in the vlog is this brings me to point number two and that is to have a buddy system. So not only is Anna my acupuncturist, but we also do gym together. We do group classes at the same gym. It's really, really motivating to have someone else 
go through and do the same sort of stuff you're doing. One of my biggest recommendations is to find someone who goes to the same gym, who wants to go to the same classes, or even if you're not going to the same gym or classes, but you're going to like a group environment where people push you and motivate you. And so Anna and a couple other girls, we all go to the same gym. So we like text each other before a session and we're like, hey, you going to the session. Especially if you are kind of over the initial stages of feeling like really motivated, getting a buddy will motivate you and keep you accountable. Yum, so this is lunch today. I've just got a honey mustard chicken salad. I took the onions out because I'm not having onions and garlic at the moment just because of my stomach. And then I cooked everything. So this is gonna be my lunch for the next few days. But yum, this looks super delicious. As always, I do have a 40% discount code for you guys, which I will chuck here if you wanna try HelloFresh. You know how much I absolutely love it. Just finished lunch I want to get into my next tip know your vice and get help with it there's always something in our fitness and health journey usually with everything we do that we don't necessarily enjoy it's not really our thing with some examples for me before I started weight training with LJ I was scared to go to the gym and weight train because I was scared I'd look stupid I didn't know what to do in the gym and that was a vice so I never really picked up weights and all I did was cardio so I now train with my PT LJ you would have seen before if you've watched my videos I started with her and she helped me out and basically made me feel more comfortable in the gym and then I am now able to go to the gym by myself do a strength session and yeah feel comfortable so that was a vice and I got help with it another one is when I worked at the law firm I was working crazy hours I then have to cook dinner and I really was losing motivation to cook a healthy dinner dinner it just got to the end of the day I was up at 4 30 and I was just like oh I just can't be bothered what I did with that is as you know love use HelloFresh all the time I've used it for over a year now you have everything portioned out there's a menu and you don't really have to think you just throw it kind of all together and it's so much simpler so that was a vice that I got help with when the initial stages of excitement wear off you will come to something that you don't like doing whether it's meal prepping whether that it's feeling comfortable enough to actually go to gym to work out. There will definitely be something that you need to overcome. You need to source out someone, something to help you with that and just sort of overcome it so that's no longer advice. Hello. You just sit here all day and watch mummy work, don't you? Good afternoon guys, so I'm gonna go through my last couple of tips. I'm just finishing off some work. Let's take these off. So my next tip is to not compare yourself to others. I remember when I first started my fitness and health journey and I would literally compare myself to someone who had been on it for years. That's like, if you are just starting your fitness and health journey and you're comparing yourself to me, who is like five years deep, you're gonna feel probably overwhelmed and probably like you're not good enough, like what's even the point? And you don't wanna feel like that at the start. 
You have to remember that everyone is so different and also everyone was a beginner at the start. If you have watched me for a while and seen my blogs, me saying that I felt self-conscious going to gym and working out, you're probably like, you can't even imagine that because I feel so comfortable and confident when I go to gym now. But everyone starts somewhere and everyone was a beginner. Don't fall in the comparison trap because you'll honestly feel overwhelmed and you'll probably feel like, what's the point? I'm not even going to I'm not even going to bother, which you can't do. The last tip is to start off small and also start with the fundamentals. For example, you saw this morning I did a home workout. So I actually started doing home workouts when I first started my fitness and health journey. I actually bought a, like a DVD of this guy who would like do it on TV and I would copy him. I then like joined a gym and then started going to classes and I then went to like the half an hour hit classes and I sort of progressed and I think it's really important not to start your health and fitness journey and go, okay, I'm going to work out seven days a week. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And it's just like going from one extreme to the next. You need to do baby steps. So if you've never worked out before, don't go straight into something hectic because I guarantee you'll do it. You may be able to do it and that's awesome, but you won't be able to sustain it. If you're going from this to this, you won't be able to sustain it. You need to go here and gradually go up. Otherwise, yeah, you won't be able to sustain it and you'll end up giving up. That's something I did quite a few times. Also, another thing, I think something that we often forget is basics are so underestimated. And so when I first started painting with LJ, we literally just did basic moves for six months, but I built up really good form and really good recruitment patterns. Looking back, that's one of the best things I ever did. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope those tips were helpful and I will see you in my next one.